Hello everyone and welcome back to the next Let's Play for Unlink. If you remember a couple parts back, we actually hacked into the ProDivision server. And at the time there was like a thermonuclear war type thing. Well, it got noticed. We almost started World War 3. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, this time we're going to actually be doing a um, couple of Trace the Hacker missions. These, by far, are not my favorite type of missions because more often than not, you're stuck by the end of the mission. And in other words, most of the time, at least whenever I usually do this, something goes wrong and there actually is no way to trace them. That really is a frustration. There is a way to actually get past it when you're at that point, um, but I won't exactly spoil how to solve that until we actually get to that point later on down the road. For now though, let's go to the Digital Networks public access server and grab the uh, administrator's phone number so we can get a voice print in a minute. Because without that, we're not going to get in their local area network so that we can trace the hacker. All right, you gonna pick up soon? Man, four rings in a second. Yep. Finally. Uh, uh no voice. What? We got a mute administrator. That'll be interesting. We got a voice print of a mute administrator. Yeah. Well, really, it's a glitch from the original uplink, but uh, for some reason, it's still transferred over. I think there was actually a couple of fixes for that, but I don't remember where you would actually get the fix. I think what actually the fix was is some other people put a voice to replace the silence, but I'm not entirely sure. Either way, what we got to do now is just do some scan links and finally connect to the thing after we get the uh, transmitter code as far as the gigahertz what it's transmitting at and there we go 166.8 gigahertz all right so we put that in and we're on our merry way They really like putting all these links behind all these computers. I mean, we got one set of disk here, and then we're going to go through another set in just a second. It, it makes you wonder, who sets up networks like this? Not normal. Should have another router or something, but going through a computer every single time? That's kind of weird. Either way... Pretty much, we're going to have to do the same things we did just a minute ago. And once we get past the lock here, we're going to have to get the frequency of the transmitter once again. For these little short passwords like love, don't you think that this game should have like the dictionary hacker to automatically try to hack the password when you're on a LAN? Because more often than not, the password is going to be a dictionary password on the LAN. It, it just seems kind of ridiculous that I have to use the cracker every single time. I mean, it's fine and it works. But I like a little bit of, uh, I don't know what's the word for it, but 
a change of pace every once in a while. Instead of having to use the cracker every single time. I mean, the dictionary hacker would work, but sometimes it doesn't work. So it's kind of like, why bother even trying? All right, we get to put out the mute administrator. Huh. Well, here comes the administrator. The mute administrator on the way. <laughs> All right, we're past the password finally, and now to the logs. After we take, yeah, uh, the logs. Got to delete our tracks real quick, just in case. Now, what we need to do after now that we've deleted all our tracks is look for the timestamp of the time the hacker came in okay 2147 that looks to be down at the bottom so now that we've gotten that what we should probably do is a couple times make it so that we can undelete the log just in case they cover the tracks which by the looks of it they did not so that means that the IP address of our attacker, well, at least the one that he bounced through anyway, is going to be, oh, okay, 103, ah, come on, there we go, 103.248.234.75. Stonehenge, okay, well, that's where we're headed next. At least uh, we don't have to go and get another voice print. That's one nice thing about that. Internal service machines have no voice prints usually. Though again, it would be kind of nice if uh, on occasion you would run into one. A rare occasion. Like one in ten computers has a, vo a voice print on it. Eh, I don't know. It's just me. Alright, so let's get all this bypassing done like usual. All the basic stuff. And the final firewall bypass. I don't know why I didn't start cracking this first. I should have done that after I gotten the monitor down and the proxy and a couple other things. I don't know. It just seems to me I should have. Alright, let's look at the links. Grab all of them. And once we've grabbed all of them... Head into the logs after disabling the security. Though... That's another thing. It'd be kind of nice if the, uh... When you disable the security, it would turn off the programs that you run. It seems to me that would be something that automatically should disable itself. Come to think of it. I never really thought about it until just now. Alright. So we found our trace of last time, 2147. So it looks like we got ourselves the point that we need to actually do. It's going to be the 224.72.10.221. So let's enter that now. like it's going to be the Eclipse Systems people this time. So let us head on over. If you notice, I haven't been clearing internet that regularly. I should be. I really should be. But for sake of time, I decided to edit that portion out of the video. So if you guys are actually doing this, you might want to consider going to visit and clear your tracks at internet every once in a while I will I, I did this off screen clearing it but still just a reminder just because you have a bunch of bounces doesn't mean it's not a good idea to, to uh, clear it every hack just to be on the safe side though admittedly that's overkill with this many bounces all right, we're in. Grab all the links again, as usual. Close that. 
head into the admin and disable the security once again like usual okay now we have to look for that log after we delete our tracks I think what is it uh, 2147 I think so we gotta look for that section of the logs once again and we hmm this, there it is Oh, okay. Actually, this time they did try to tra the hide their tracks. That's at least fortunate that, that I noticed this time. Let's go erase our tracks and internet just to be safe. Finally. And after we do that, I think we're... We got to the last computer... I think once we type in the IP address into the IP lookup, it should be the last computer, I'm hoping. If not, we got a long way ahead of us, but I hope not. Alright, we're finally at the hacker. So Desmond Stevenson was the man behind all these hacks right here who caused us all this trouble all right let's send this out Desmond Stevenson send and there we go oh no my neuromancer changed well that's not surprising well with that that pretty much sums up the rest of it so I'll see you guys next week hopefully tune in for the next trace the hacker mission